Senator Alpha Phi Delta, the country's only national Italian-American fraternity, is wrapping up a nearly week-long meeting in Harrisburg this weekend. News 8's Amber Gerard has more on the bond that's bringing members of all ages together. It's been nonstop brotherly love. Over 200 members of the fraternity have been participating in sports and social activities since Friday, with the events culminating tonight with an awards and scholarship dinner. And underneath all of it, the driving force, family. The amount of dedication and family that brings within Alpha Phi Delta, that's what got me into it. And that lasts for a very, very long time, a lifetime. I love it. Jonathan Lopez, a 2020 graduate of Southern Connecticut State University, has been a member since 2018. He traveled here from L.A. I know there's not a lot of guys that live on the West Coast, so every time I come here and hang out with these guys, it's just an amazing experience. Guys that are newer members like him and guys that have been members for years, like Sal Flagiello and Gary Costa. Kostek pledged in the 1960s while attending Newark College of Engineering. This is where I want it to be. Gary, a white man of Irish and Ukrainian descent, wanted to be a member of the first and only Italian-American fraternity in the country. So when Italian men were immigrated, they wanted to send their adult sons to college, and they couldn't pledge the existing fraternities because you had to be white and you had to be, um, well, Protestant. But Alpha Phi was the right fit for him and today he feels just like he did 50 years ago. Now, Sal Flagiello can't claim 50 years, but being a member since 2006 and the national president, he's for sure a part of the family. I'm Italian American myself, so that was something that drew me in, but I think really what it was for me, the group of guys that came before me at Baruch College, the family vibe, I was really attracted to it. The guys, what their thoughts were about the negative images and stories associated with fraternities. And they say those things do affect them negatively. And while they do admit that they do happen some places, not all fraternities are alike, especially not Alpha Phi. In Harrisburg, Amber Gerard, WGAL News 8.